up, keyboard nerds? Let me flex on you by showing you something you can't buy because I'm goaded. Scuff this, scuff that. Hey, why are you talking like that? James, get out. I'm trying to get subscribers. They want me to be cool. The layout we see here today was popularized by the TGR Alice from popular keyboard designer Yuxi. Yuxi? Yuxi? Alice keyboards share a balance of aesthetics and ergonomics. I say ergonomics lightly because it's not really an ergonomic keyboard. There are two ways wrists can be angled unnaturally on a traditional keyboard. One being ulnar deviation and the other being forearm pronation or supination. Alice layouts only help with ulnar deviation. By angling the alpha keys by 10 degrees inwards, it gives a more natural wrist position than standard layouts do. I go over this more in depth in this video here, so go check that out if you haven't already. The Owl Lab Spring is not an Alice layout, but in a Risu style layout. What's the difference? Nothing. A Risu just means there's arrow keys. It has a 7.5 degree typing angle and a 19.5 millimeter front height. Users that lay their wrists on the desk while typing will probably want to look into a wrist rest. The feature that sets this board apart from its competitors is its mounting system. Leaf springs are nothing new, but Owl Labs added the concept of gaskets into it by adding a rubber nail in between the mounts, which results in a super flexy board that doesn't have a shaky bottom out. It's kind of hard to show this on camera, but if you've ever typed on a super flexy board like the Glacier 80, you know what I'm getting at here. All right, now all the boring spec stuff is out the way. Way, let's get to the build.
And that's the video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. If there's something you did or didn't like in the video, let me know in the comments below. See you in the next one.